Hey guys, the day is already in progress. We have the excitable Buffy. Hi, hi. And we have the excitable Phoenix with his camera, his chalk, and what are these? Puppets. And what did we get these for? For fun. Take your pine cone. Go get it, get it. <laughs> um, we originally got these for New Year's but New Year's was all rainy, so we couldn't use them on New Year's because if you know anything about poppets, they don't work when it's wet outside. Oh. So we're gonna do them today because of weather outside. Look at that. That is freaking beautiful. It's cold, don't get me wrong. It's 44 degrees, AKA from, seven degrees Celsius. From computer. Yes, yes. I asked the computer, computer, what's the temperature outside? And she said, it is seven degrees Celsius. Can you do one right down here? Right down here in front of the camera. <laughs> like right here. <laughs> Found it. A puppy. <laughs> she ate it. Oh, she spit it out. <laughs> Gross. Whoa. <laughs> oh, look at this. Watch this. Are you ready? Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. No, it doesn't hurt. If they hurt, then they wouldn't let kids have them. Phoenix has been taking pictures all weekend, so. <laughs> if he has pictures worth showing, then oh no, you ruined your dude. Oh no! Don't worry, I'll fix it. Oh, okay. Anyway, uh, let's do a Phoenix picture montage right now. If he has enough pictures to do pictures with. <laughs> Look at all these worms! Oh my gosh! <laughs> wow! There's a hundred of them! I have to take a picture! So I just got through moving the lawnmower because we need to do the first mow of the year. And it appears that uh, some worms were getting busy underneath the lawnmower. <laughs> wow! I hope the worms find a home. Do you want to help them get a home? You want to pick them up and put them in the grass? Uh, no, I am not touching those worms. I thought you wanted to go fishing, though. That's not fishing! Dude, Hello? what do you think you use for bait? For Buffy? No, bait for fish. You put worms on a hook. You stick the hook through the worm. What did we got enough worms for them? What? We got enough worms for them. Uh, yeah, what we got... We got enough worms okay so i'm gonna mow the yard and uh maybe we'll work on getting some of this uh, scrap wood out of here i don't know and you also need to go and wash your mouth off again because you have chocolate all over your mouth again we stopped at starbucks it's my guilty pleasure so here's mode here's not mode and there's phoenix taking pictures of i took a picture of a sparkly plant Magic. a sparkly plant Ew, that's a nasty dandelion. Keep going, keep going, keep going, stop. 
don't take your hands off. Whoop, whoop. For those of you who are still dealing with Snowpocalypse 2019 or 2020, I'm sorry, this is the first mow of the year. And that is a car horn going off in the background because the car is extremely excited. And that is the sun with a beautiful sky. It's so beautiful. Isn't it? <laughs> Except for that loud car horn. That's kind of annoying. And look at that. Look at your apple tree, dude. We grew that from a seed. That's so neat. It's amazing. It is amazing. It's amazing that you still haven't cleaned your mouth yet either. Dude. Wow, look at this. 4.40 p.m. The sun sets at 5.24 p.m. tonight. 5.24 p.m. We're getting more daylight. That's so awesome. And we're also getting burgers. Burgers on the Barbie. You want some burgers on the Barbie? Burgers. There's burgers. No. Well, you got to cook them. Burgers on the Barbie. Well, no, that would be really... No, you can't have any. I'm sorry. Green socks. <laughs> oh, the poor puppy has green paws. It's not even St. Patrick's Day yet. Phoenix, come here. Come here. Come here and look at it through the... Through, through here. Doesn't that look neat? It looks way smaller there, but it looks amazing. Doesn't that look amazing? Yeah. Well, happy sunset, guys. Wow. And happy fire sunset. Yep. First campfire of the new year. Same old Buffy. <laughs> oh, that just keeps getting better. If I had been thinking about it, I would have put this on time lapse, but because the, cloud, the clouds are moving from right to left. But of course, you probably can't tell because they're moving very slowly. Time lapse would have been awesome. Sorry, guys. I failed. Hi, Buffy. Good girl. Sit. Good girl. All right, guys. Phoenix just went to bed. It's time for COC. I'm being quiet because I don't want to wake him up. Okay, I'm going to start off by telling you guys a very heartwarming story. Um, when Phoenix comes uh, from school Friday, he has all of his clothes to go back to school in on Monday. Um, I opened the bag, and this is what I found. It's a card that Phoenix made at school. I love you so much, Dad. I love you, Dad, from Phoenix. He made this at school for me on Friday. <laughs> now, I hope that he wasn't supposed to have been doing other things when he made this, but how heartwarming is that? I mean, like, wow, right? <sighs> so awesome. Okay. Let's do this. Let's get the edit done. Let's get to bed. Mr. Brote, you are number one. Actually, is this true? Organized, newest first. Yes, yes you are. The game of life is good. Still have it, and every once in a while we play. I also have a Monopoly original, and I have an ACDC version of Monopoly, and also nothing beats a good game of checkers with the grandkids. Excellent. Animal Gypsy Heart, funny, you forgot you ordered parts, lol. I had those blocks at my aunt's. We had two sets, so lots of hours of building. Does the Mickey have the original Disney logo? Uh, no, it didn't. I got that shirt in Disneyland approximately in 1983, so at least I don't believe it did. Uh, Flying Dutchwoman. Must have been a while since geography class. Amsterdam is in Holland, the Netherlands, which is, which is its own country, and it is not in Sweden. Okay, my neighbors... Were Swedish. They had family in Sweden, so when they went to all these countries, they they went to Sweden. So that's where I got that. Besides, I don't know my geography, so you're right with that. But there, yeah, yeah. that's why I made the correlation between Sweden is because they went to Sweden. Nicole Flynn, my goodness, that little boy on the container of building blocks looks like you when you were little. And Phoenix, I know Phoenix has the same haircut I had when I was a kid. Oh, that's just weird. He needs a he needs a big boy haircut. Um, anyway, uh, this is so cool that you show some of your clothes when you were little and baby clothes. That teleporting with Phoenix is really cool. He said that he wanted to do it. I shouldn't have cut it out of the video because he asked, he said, dad, can you make me like disappear from here and, and reappear over there? And I'm like, heck yeah, I can do that. So he loves doing that. 
Aloha Laura. I had those blocks. I built garages for my Hot Wheels with them, which was the same thing I did with Legos and Lincoln Logs. That's so funny. I did do that too. I built uh, garages, but mostly I tried building tunnels. That was awesome. We should have an ugliest pants contest. I know that I'd win. <laughs> and you had a vest like that, but yours was white? Oh, that is so funny. Ralph and Jason talking about board games. My favorite as a kid was Life and Sorry. I don't know if they count as board games, but we also played a lot of Hungry Hippo and Operation. Phoenix has a newer, but still an, an Operation game that he got for his birthday, two birthdays ago, I think. Um, and yes, I had Hungry Hippos as a child also. That's so funny. Uh, Nancy Dunkelberg, just getting back to your videos and have some catching up to do, have been down with the flu bug. Uh, so you've been down with the sickness? <laughs> Okay, I'll stop. Um, and have been in bed for quite some time. Sure glad to be feeling better, and I'm glad that you are feeling better also. Good to see Phoenix having so much fun with uh, your toys you had when you were his age. Loved his robot he built. Have an awesome day. Thank you, Nancy. Hope you had an awesome day, too. Uh, Mr. Broat, again, every time a flock of birds fly over, I remember a little saying we used to say when I was young, and I used to say this, too, but mine was a little bit different. You said, birdie, birdie in the sky, please don't turdy in my eye. Um, and And... Then you said, gee, I'm glad the cows don't fly. The way that I always heard it was a birdie birdie in the sky. Please don't do that in my eye. I'm a big boy and I don't cry. I'm just glad the cows don't fly. That's it. Judy Hart, green gingham pants. Too funny. So sweet. Your mom and dad saved everything. It's a murder or congress of crows. Um, I didn't even know that that's what those pants were called. Uh, John John 9111, vintage, vintage clothes can be worth money, and Disney, anything is always worth money, but kids' clothes are harder to sell. Very true. Um, I, I looked through a bunch of them, and I was thinking about doing that with some of them, but I have so many other things to go through, and we are. We're purging, because we're Angie and I are going to have two households in a very small house with no storage um, coming together, and so we can't. you can't take it with you. And having something in storage for 40 years, what... what what good does that do, anybody? I mean, so I would rather, like I've said before, I'd rather make a couple bucks to help out towards everything that's going on right now because, oh my gosh, my mind is just blown with all everything that's going on right now. Very expensive. And um, so this is going to help out a little bit with that. A lot of stuff is being eBayed, and unfortunately with eBay, unless it's an expensive item that you paid nothing for, you don't make money with eBay because you've got all the seller fees or the final listing value fees then you've got shipping and handling and shipping and handling figures into the price of the item of course um oh, so it's just is ebay is horrible but you know when in rome five bucks is five bucks right <laughs> or five pence that'd be england i don't know oh rome i don't know what kind of currency is there in rome I could look it up, but I don't have the time. Joseph Blau, hello, Hellions. Kevin Norwood, M word was Montreal. Yes. So exciting. So excited. Oh my gosh. And it's happening soon. I'm not going to tell you guys when, but it's happening soon. Uh, and the final comment of the night, Tony Fredrickson. Oh, the cool memories. Tugging at my heartstrings today because I'm taking tomorrow off to be with my brother for surgery. Minor. However, we are all that's left us too. So I... I think I, I read that right. I completely understand that beautiful bond. Excellent. And you say, oh, hugs. Oh, Fran's family. You forgot the tea. I, that's almost like the, the buns people, but I'm not the buns people. If I was the buns people, then we'd have money. <laughs> anyway, happy haunting. Thank you guys so very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.